All right, guys, so October ended up being a pretty big month for manga. We got in a bunch of pre-orders. We got in a bunch of out-of-stock items coming back in into stock. And so I have all of these boxes, mostly from Right Stuff. I did get one box from Barnes & Noble. And there was two big boys from Right Stuff that I had to unbox because I needed to use the box for some packaging for other stuff. But yeah, quite a bit of stuff. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with all of my pre-orders that came in this month. Uh, first one here is Naoki Urasawa's Asadora. Um, I've read Monster and I loved Monster. It's in my top five ant manga of all time. So I'm gonna be picking up future series that ever come out from him. Uh, the next one that I wanna get into is 20th Century Boys, but I'm missing volume two and I can't go ahead and get started without uh, until I get volume two, but uh, that will be my next story of his that I read and then uh, once this gets complete I'll go ahead and start this as well but I've heard good things really excited for this one only thing is that I am with the Weeb family here these are pretty ugly covers um, if it wasn't for Naoki Urasawa's name being here I probably wouldn't pick these up but anyways that's the first thing we got in next up we got some more rent a girlfriend um, this is just one of those series that I've heard good things about and um picking it up as they're releasing and adding it to my library. Um, eventually I will read this and I'm pretty sure I will enjoy it based off what I've heard. Uh, but really pretty covers here in the front. Then we got some nasty man manga as the Dark Sage likes to call them. We got Pleasure and Corruption here, volume four. I do want to get started into this one. It looks pretty interesting. I flipped through a few pages of volume one and um, I don't know, the artwork looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and show you guys here. Uh, nothing too bad. So yeah, need to get started on this one because it does sound pretty interesting. Then a series that needs no introduction. Everybody loves it. I loved it. I have read up to volume six. I'm reading these as they come out and I'm loving the heck out of them. Um, so here's the latest volume, volume seven. All of these covers are really, really awesome. But yeah, can't wait to get into this one. I'm probably gonna read this one as soon as I'm done recording this video. And then I'll go ahead and show these off. These are some more series that needs no introduction. A lot of people love these series. Um, I haven't started Jujutsu Kaisen. Um, at this point, I'm probably just gonna wait a little bit longer before I get started. Uh, but Spy Family, I have read. I've read up to volume three, and I told myself that I was gonna read the next three once I got up to volume six. So now that I have volume six, I'm gonna go ahead and read volumes four through six. Should be a fun ride. I've heard great things, and I love the first three volumes. So can't wait to get into this one. This will definitely be a read for September. All right, two more series. As you can see, I got a lot of stuff from the Viz sale that happened a few weeks ago. Um, and that was a great time to use my uh, Right Stuff discount codes if you guys are members of the channel. A lot of my members took advantage of it and they got some great deals on all this Viz stuff. On top of getting the Right Stuff uh, discount, my members also got an additional 15%, 10%, or 5% off, depending on which tier you join. But yeah, highly suggest becoming a member. Can also take advantage of the sales. But yeah, One Punch Man, love the anime, so decided to pick up the manga. Love the artwork in here. Such, probably the best artwork I've seen in any manga. Uh, so, wow. I hope I didn't spoil anything there, but saw some weird things going on in this volume. So yeah, volume 23. Haven't, haven't started the, the One Punch Man manga. I actually tried reading volume one like two or three times already, but for some reason I didn't continue it. Not because it was bad, but I think it was because I was reading it digitally and I just wasn't feeling the whole digital stuff. So I'm pretty sure once I start reading these physically, I will enjoy it and I'll continue it. Uh, but I have a long way to go because they're up to volume 23 now. Uh, Twin Star Exorcist, haven't started yet, but I am picking these up. Next up, we got my childhood here, Pokemon uh, Volume 10 of these Collector's Edition is what they're called. Uh, but this one is slightly a lot thinner than, than the rest of them. So I'm, I'm wondering if this might be the last of these Pokemon Adventure books. Um, I'm not too sure. So if you guys know, definitely let me know in the comment section down below. But 
I'm pretty sure since it's it's thinner than the rest of them, but yeah. Love Pokemon growing up, and I'm definitely gonna be reading this to my son uh, when he gets a little bit older and I can read to him and he understands what's going on. But yeah, that will probably be the first time I read through this, uh, just because I wanna be the first time I read through it to be with my son. But pretty cool uh, additions, I do love them. I love the glossy effect that they have on the characters that they have here and the text and stuff like that just looks pretty cool. And Cyndaquil, that's my that's my main Pokemon right there. I love Pokemon Gold and Silver. That was my favorite Pokemon game. And I always chose this little guy, so I love him. All right, two more here from Viz Media. We got two rom-coms, I believe these both are rom-coms. I'm not too sure if there's really romance in Comey Can't Communicate, but I think there is. Uh, anyways, Comey Can't Communicate, the Netflix anime just started up recently. Haven't seen it yet. I kind of want to read the first couple of volumes before I watch the anime. Uh, so this might be another one that I'll read next month. Um, this first this month in October I was trying to read mainly just horror manga so I didn't get into anything else but I didn't do a really good job you guys will see in my in my reading log uh, but anyways yeah these two series we never learn um, picking this up just because of the similarities it has to uh, the quintessential quintuplets Ooh, next up we have burn the witch uh, this is one that I'm actually very excited about because it is by Tight Kubo, which is the mangaka behind Bleach, which you guys know I love Bleach. Uh, so naturally, I was very excited for this one and I really love what they're doing with these additions. Uh, so let's go ahead and open this up and take a closer look. All right, so took off the plastic covering. Uh, this one is just rated teen so that plastic covering wasn't because it was a mature series or anything i think it was just to hold the slip cover in place but yeah this is the first time i ever see a slip cover on a manga which is pretty cool and this there is a strange little glossy effect on the b only so i'm not sure what that's about but pretty interesting i guess um so let's take a look at the back here so it says up here, it's an exciting new adventure set in the world of Bleach. I knew that, but I'm curious to see what they'll do. Like, are there going to be any callbacks to the Shinigami or anything like that from Bleach? Um, I guess we'll find out once I continue to read this, but that's, let's go ahead and take this off. And then here's the cover inside. So, oh, the character, the character designs here look actually pretty cool. I like how they look. Uh, but the front cover, I'm not, not a big fan of the front cover. I don't know why. It's, it looks a little bit plain. There's too much white going on in the background. Uh, but when you open it up, it does look pretty cool, I guess. Uh, let's take a look at some of the artwork. Okay, so very reminiscent of the Bleach artwork since it is from the same mangaka. Which I love the Bleach artwork, so can't wait to get into this one. I saw some dragons in there, so... Yeah, really excited for this one. All right, since we're in the topic of witches, I also got Witch Hat Atelier, uh, volume eight. I don't know if this is a pre-order or if this is just something that I picked up during the Viz sale, but I think it's a pre-order, so I'm gonna lump it in here with the rest of these pre-orders. Uh, but unfortunately, I was hoping to get started on this one in October, but... Um, yeah, it didn't quite pan out that way. I wasn't able to start this one, so I'm gonna have to save it for another time. Uh, but still excited to get into this one. All right, this next one, I'm really happy that I finally got it. It's not a pre-order technically, but I'm lumping it in here because I pre-ordered this thing. I pre-ordered it and it didn't get here when I pre-ordered it from Right Stuff. And it's finally getting to me maybe like two or three months after it was released. Um, I had been waiting for this for the longest time. Uh, usually with these uh, manga volumes, I read them as soon as I get them because I do love um, how heavy are the dumbbells you lift. It's just something that I'm really enjoying. I got volume seven um, and I couldn't get into it because I haven't gotten volume six. So now that I have this, 
it will be another instant read. Um, I'll probably read Chainsaw Man first though. Uh, so yeah, awesome artwork in here. Super muscular man, uh, but a lot of workout too. So it's pretty, so it's pretty informative and it looks like uh, they're talking about push-ups here. So yeah, cool stuff. You, should, you guys should check it out. All right, and then the last pre-order that I got in those two big boxes, I still have other boxes to get um, into that might contain more pre-orders, but uh, for now, this is the last one. And we have Fist of the North Star Volume 2. Uh, these editions are just beautiful. I love hardcover stuff. So uh, naturally, I love this edition. And, and I will be continuing to pick this series up. Uh, even if I don't get into it anytime soon, like I've mentioned it before, but with me, my, I'm collecting uh, manga to build a library of stories that are just waiting to be read on my shelf. And anytime I do get into one and I don't enjoy it, no problem. I'll just go ahead and sell it off. Um, I'm not too big into trying to get my money back. I don't mind selling it for just to get my money back. Or even if I lose maybe one or two dollars, I don't really mind it. I just like the feeling of first picking up a new manga series, getting into it and not knowing what to expect. Most of the time I do enjoy it. Um, there's very rarely any time there's a manga I don't enjoy. But And from what I've heard from other people, I'm pretty sure this will be one that I enjoy. Plus, the artwork is amazing. Yeah, there, there's a lot of, there, is it, most of this is in color. Strange, okay, so this is black and white now towards the end, but yeah, this is pretty, pretty cool. There's a lot of color pages in there. All right, so Fist of the North Star, volume two. All right, now let's get into a few new series that I picked up during this last Viz sale. Uh, one of them is Radiant. So I saw the, the collaboration between the Manga Sloth and HVL Manga, which are both great manga tubers. Uh, if you guys are in, in any way interested in manga, I'm sure you've already followed them. They're huge uh, in the manga community and for a reason, their content is both great. But uh, they talked about Radiant in their collaboration. I think the Manga Sloth got HVL manga, Radiant, and uh, the Manga Sloth did a very good job at convincing uh, HVL manga that this series was good. So good that he convinced me to pick it up as well. So I picked up the first five volumes. Unfortunately, volume one was out of stock. So that is in an out of stock order that I placed with Right Stuff. So I should be getting that um, sometime in the future. Plus, one of my Zodiac members in my Discord also mentioned that uh, he does really enjoy this series. Mikey Tech, just giving you guys a shout out. Oh, which I haven't done yet. So also gonna take this opportunity to shout out all of my uh, members. Thank you guys for deciding to support me and my channel. But yeah, Radiant, I love the spines and I love the covers as well. So here's volume four, volume five, volume three which is my favorite right now. She just looks really nice. Yeah, and then volume two. And let's take a look at the artwork inside, which, yeah, it's not bad. Pretty good artwork in here. So yeah, can't wait to get into this one. Um, not on the top of my priority list though, plus I haven't got volume one, so won't be reading it anytime soon. And then the next new series that I got was Terraformars. Uh, so this one I actually got because Trash Taste convinced me, I think it was Gaunt, Garnt, Grant, I forget how his, what his name is. Like I said, I'm bad with names, but I think he mentioned in their manga video that this was one of his favorite manga. And um, they, they, he convinced me, he, it sounded very interesting, very uh, unique. Uh, it's about cockroaches that, what was it about again? I think they're like, uh, they travel to Mars and the cockroaches have evolved into these massive bulky uh, monsters, I guess is what I would call them, as you guys can see there. And they just go on a killing spree and start killing everyone. Uh, so I don't know, sounded interesting and I just decided to go ahead and pick it up. Uh, don't quote me on that description. I'm just going off of my memory and what I've heard from that trash taste episode. But it looks cool. Artwork looks good as well, so we'll see. For now, I won't be getting started on it because 
I only got volume five in, so yeah. All right, that was it for the new series. Now let's get into stuff that I've shown in previous hauls and I just got some more stuff in. Uh, some of these are just things that came back in stock. So uh, first one here, iShield 21, uh, same creator as One Punch Man. So I wanted to give this one a shot as well. Uh, I don't read, I don't have too much sports manga in my in my collection. So I thought I'd start with this one, but it's uh, been very hard to collect because a lot of them are out of stock and I don't think they're out of print yet. So I'm hoping there's a reprint at some point. I put in an, a huge, an order during the Viz sale for most of them. So we'll see when we get them. Uh, I don't mind waiting, I'm patient. Uh, since I collect statues, I am very patient. It takes a long time to get some of them sometimes, but yeah, with manga, same way. I don't mind waiting. So here's volume eight. We got in some more I Am A Hero, volume 10 and volume eight. I've already talked about most of these in the past, so I'm just gonna kind of show you guys what I, what I got. Then we got Yu-Gi-Oh! Volumes 25, 26, and 27. And I just found out, I thought this was like the whole Yu-Gi-Oh! series, but apparently there's a bunch of other series from Yu-Gi-Oh! as well. There's like Duelist, I don't know what they're called, but I need to go look into it and figure out what else I need to pick up. But first, I need to finish these sets. Uh, next up, we got Black Lagoon 8 and 10. Uh, this one, I still have a few gaps in. I think I'm still missing volume 6, 7, and volume 1, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, this is one I picked up thanks to Manga Man Chris, which you guys should definitely go check him out. A uh, pretty cool guy, and his content is great as well. And the one that I'm most excited for, for getting almost complete is Goodnight Poon Poon. So I got in volume two, four, and six. The only one I'm missing now is volume three. And I can go ahead and get started with this one and finish it. Uh, this is a really beloved series. A lot of people talk really highly about it. Um, so I can't wait to get into this one and get depressed for a few weeks uh, so yeah the covers i mean pretty weird not gonna lie but from what i've heard it it's it's got to be good so can't wait to get into this need to get then volume three all right and then the last volume and then we're gonna go into unboxing is after the rain volume two uh, this was one that I picked up thanks to my Manga Spaces recommendation. She talked pretty highly about it a few uh, weeks back at this point, maybe even months. Um, but um, I was waiting for volume two and I finally got it in. I now have volume one and two. So I'm going to try and get into this one next month. Um, uh, just because I want to give her my thoughts and what I think about the series. I think she asked me at one point. So... Since I have two volumes, I'll go ahead and get into them. Uh, so yeah, thanks my manga space. I'll let you know in next month's reading log what I thought. Which by the way, go subscribe to her too. She's really close to 1000 subscribers and I wanna help get her there. So if you guys watch my channel and haven't subscribed to her, go check her out and subscribe. I'll leave a link down to her channel down below. Man, I'm already at 30 volumes. But, all right, let's get into this next box and we'll see what my final count is. I have about five or six more boxes to get through. All right, I usually like to start with my smaller boxes, but this one's already like half open. So let's just help this box out and just start with this. So, I don't even need a knife. Ooh, look at that. My Discord members will be pretty excited about this one. A lot of them suggested me to pick up Call of the Night. So I did. I got volume two. Volume three. And volume four. Unfortunately, volume one was out of stock. So 
gonna have to wait for that one. I did put an out of stock order, so hopefully I can get it soon. But yeah, this one, I don't know why. I thought I had heard some people talk badly about it, but apparently a lot of my Discord members talked really highly about it. So they convinced me to pick it up. Uh, plus I do like the artwork on here. I love all of the covers, which I just showed you guys. And then the artwork inside, oh, it looks, looks to be sort of like a like a four coma type style artwork so wasn't expecting that for some reason but the artwork does look pretty good so can't wait to check this out now just need volume one all right next up what do we have in here grand blue dreaming 14 i believe this might be a pre-order i haven't got into this one so i don't have too much to say there Sayonara football. This I, I did enjoy. I've talked about this in the past. So I think this was actually my first uh, sports manga that I got into. And I really am enjoying this one. So glad to get this. Here's some of the artwork. Ooh, perfect shot here. Look at the action in here. Just look at the ball rolling. And everything looks really good. The artwork is very good in this series. Especially the, the soccer and action moments. So... You guys should check this out if you guys like soccer at all. Then we got some Akamega Kill. I actually put this one in uh, to get this to $75 to get the free shipping because um, I wasn't going to pick up Akamega Kill to begin with because I already have the anime and I liked it and I was just planning to pick up the other spin-off series. Um, but... I keep hearing that the ending for the manga is much better, so I'm just curious and I can't just pick up the final volume. Uh, I am going to pick up the rest eventually, but I'm, they, I'm curious, so I do want to go ahead and read through the manga and see what the, what the how it compares to the anime at some point. Uh, so that's why I picked this up. Oh no, so we got some, some more nasty man manga here so this is mature uh this one is i'm a hero but the demon lord's also me <sighs> do i want to open this up and show you guys some of the artwork sure let's go ahead and do that and i'm pretty sure um the dark sage hasn't trademarked the the term nasty man manga or anything so it's pretty safe for me to use it right anyways let's go inside and check out the artwork and yeah luckily i didn't open to uh inappropriate page or anything artwork here doesn't look great it looks just average not, but uh yeah we'll see hopefully i enjoy this one wow so it's a lot of omnibuses oh i know what this is i know what this is uh, so before we get started let me pull out something else that i have over here so plunderer I have volume two here because um, I accidentally forgot to place, uh, include this in my order when I ordered this on Right Stuff. Everything was in stock at the time when I placed this order. Uh, but then when I realized that volume two was not included as part of this order, um, it was out of stock and volume one is out of stock as well. And it's going for ridiculous prices. So I don't know if that means uh, this is starting to go out of, print or anything but just to be safe i went to barnes and noble and they had one in stock so i only picked up one volume for retail price uh the rest of these i did get these for the sale price from the yen press sale uh this past week but yeah i don't know we were just talking about it in our discord and uh, again it's just one of those things man maybe maybe having a discord was not a great idea they're convincing me to get series that I wouldn't normally get so uh, a couple weeks back I did a video on the blu-ray limited edition which I was planning to only watch that but we started to talk and they were saying that the manga is much better so I decided to pick up the manga as well uh, so, so that's to not risk it going out of print or anything I just picked up everything that I could so here's volume two here's volume eight here's volume four Volume 7, Volume 6, Volume 5, and Volume 3. So I think I'm up to date now. So 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 
and I believe 8 was the latest volume. And I have volume 1 coming from Amazon, because that one was also out of stock. Going for ridiculous prices, but I did find it on Amazon for a reasonable price. Uh, it was retail, but I did have to pay for shipping, which did kind of suck. But just going to put this in front of this manga over here. Yeah, that'll work. All right, next up, let's get into this box. It's pretty light, so I don't think there's any manga in here, but let me just open it up and make sure. All right, so I did actually have a Nendroid in there, so that's a figure that will be in a future unboxing, but there was actually three volumes of manga, so we got three and four of Terraform Mars and The Witch and the Beast Volume 2, which this was another one that I was hoping to read in October, but didn't get a chance to, so hopefully I enjoy it. All right, next box. All right, this one has a bunch of manga. It's just begging to come out, so let's help it out. Uh, first one here is How Not to Summon a Demon Lord, Volume 12. Yeah, I'm picking these up. I thought the manga was, I mean, the anime. I saw the anime and it was fun. It was a fun series, so. I wanted to pick up the manga time, so yeah, volume 12. Then we got the latest volume of Magic or Crawl, Spec Ops Asuka. Beautiful covers on these and beautiful artwork inside as well. Then we got Yuna and the Haunted Hot Springs. I did read a few volumes of this one last month. Really fun series. I actually did really enjoy this one, so glad that I decided to keep picking this one up. I'm up to date now with volume 15 and this one does have a lot of um, I guess I'd call it a nasty man manga. Uh, there's actually quite a bit of fan service in here. Oh god this is a huge fail that I made. Um, I think during the viz sale the last day I was trying to hurry up and place in an order and somehow this made it into my cart. I don't know what the heck this is. So, yeah. I don't know what I'm gonna do to, with this yet. I don't know if I'm gonna do just a giveaway or a Discord giveaway. Yeah, you know what? Let's do it a Discord giveaway. So I'll give this away on my Discord. So if anyone's interested on this one and you haven't followed me on Discord, go check me out. And if you want this, I'll give it away there. So, yeah. I'm not even gonna put it over there with the rest of my manga. I'll put it here to the side. Okay, I, I'm, I'm remembering this order now. So this was my Nasty Man manga order. Uh, this I placed an order from Seven Seas last month uh, just for some series that I was picking up and Seven Seas never went on sale. So I just wanted to pick up some series that had recently come out and I wanted to get them before they start going out of, out of, out of stock. Uh, so the first one here, is do you like big girls? Uh, the Weeb family talked about this one recently on their manga haul. He seemed to enjoy it, so I'm kind of curious what uh, from his explanation. Uh, it definitely sounds like like there is a lot of fan service in this one, and it is mature. Uh, so let's go ahead and open it up and show some artwork. All right, you think I'm gonna open up to a page that's inappropriate? Place your bets. All right, first time, first try. Uh, opened up to an appropriate page here. Uh, so here's some of the artwork you can expect from this series. So yeah, we'll see how I like this one. I do tend to enjoy Seven Seas manga though. All right, so next up we have Parallel Paradise volume six. I believe this is the most recent volume and I did read this one back when I was uh, testing out three Nasty Man manga. I read Parallel Paradise, Worlds in Harem and Destiny Lovers, uh, which between those three, this one actually was my second favorite one. Um, I do still want to read through a Worlds in Harem first, but uh, from the first volume, this one, I think it was actually the most mature. It had the most mature content out of the three, and the main protagonist, uh, he went, he goes straight forward in this in this manga. He's now, from what I remember, it was an isekai. He is transported to a new world where there's only females in the town that he's in. 
Uh, so I'm interested to see where that goes because I believe, if I remember correctly, uh, the woman only age up to a certain point. So they're all young women as well. And he's just trying to get to the bottom of why it is that they are uh, only live up to a certain age. And yeah, so we'll see. That was volume six. And talking about worlds in Harem. I got the rest of the volumes that I was missing. So Worlds in Harem 11 and 12. And this series was great from, from the first uh, volume that I read. So I will eventually go get to finishing it. Um, hopefully it ends great as well. And then the last manga in here is High Rise Invasion. I believe this is the final um, volume. Uh, the Weep family made it seem like it's 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 kind of going downhill. It's not ending very great, but uh, he was about halfway through this. So hopefully that last bit that he reads uh, does improve and the series does end on a high note. But uh, I haven't started this one, but I, I think I picked this one up thanks to a video of his, of Weep family. Then he talked pretty highly of it at the beginning of the series at least. Uh, so that convinced me to pick it up and I am up to date with this. So this is the last volume and I can go ahead and get started. So I might get started on this one uh, sometime soon. All right, so we did this manga haul backwards. Um, I'm, I'm now at the last two packages from Right Stuff uh, that are the smaller ones. And then once I'm done with those, we'll get into the Barnes and Noble box. So let's open this up. All right, My Hero Vigilantes, volume 11. And then this beauty, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, Golden Wind, part, or volume two. Part five, volume two. Uh, so yeah, love these editions. Uh, like I said, I am picking up the JoJo's volumes after part four. Part four being my favorite, and part five I think was my second favorite so far. I did really enjoy the anime for this, so wanted to pick up the manga as well. Beautiful artwork. I love Mista. His name was Mista, right? It's kind of, it's been a while, but he, I really did love him. And he has one of the coolest um, stands with his gun and uh, the, the bullets in his gun. I really did, did enjoy his scenes in the anime, so. Yep, volume two of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, part five. All right, last rights to Fox. Don't know what could be in here. So we got another a Akamiga Kill, volume one. So I got the last volume and the first volume of a Akamiga Kill. Now I just need everything in between. All right, so I saved the best for last because I definitely know what's in this box here. So let's open it up. If you guys know what released at the end of October, you probably know what's in here too. So let's, let's go through these one by one. I did pick up four manga uh, to get the free shipping from, from Barnes and Noble because I don't have the membership. I had it in the past, but I didn't have it this time. And I didn't want to buy it just for this one order because I don't really shop at Barnes and Noble too much. But first thing here, Kingdom of Z, volume four. Man, I, I should have read this one during, during October. I read another zombie series, which I did really enjoy. And I'll talk about that in my manga uh, reading log, but didn't get into this one. Uh, this is a more of a fan service zombie manga. So let's take a look at some artwork. Pretty good. So that was one of the things I got from Barnes and Noble. Then I got this series here. This is a new series called Giruru Kill Me. And this one seemed very interesting. Like I was trying to, I was struggling to see what could be the last thing that I pick up uh, from Barnes and Noble. And I ran into this. And it's, it was really interesting because it's about a, a guy who hires an assassin girl, a sexy assassin girl, which is this girl here on this cover. And he hires her because he wants to get close to her. And the only way he thinks he can get close to her is if he hires her to kill him. So I like the premise of this one. 
and I kind of like assassin stories and stuff like that. Like I love Spy Family as well. So hopefully this is just as good as Spy Family or at least decent. So we'll see here some of the artwork. And two more to get through. Next up, I just found out my uh, next read is Gigant Volume 6. I love this series. Uh, it's one of my favorite things to read uh, when I get it in. Uh, because it's so easy to read so i'm probably gonna read this before anything else that i mentioned in this manga haul uh so here's some oh. there we go here's some of the artwork uh i i like the art style in this manga i know a lot of people complain about uh hiroyu oku's art style but i enjoy it i don't mind it i think it's 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 okay um i actually think it's pretty good um so yeah can't wait to read this uh, especially after hearing the Weeb family or Weeb Dad's thoughts on this manga volume. Uh, so let's see what that consequence is. All right, and then the last thing that I wanted to say for last is Attack on Titan volume 34. This is the Barnes and Noble exclusive. Unfortunately, um, I found out too late that they were making exclusive versions of the last volume of Attack on Titan. So last minute, I put an order in Barnes & Noble. I put an order in uh, BAMS or Books A Million to get their exclusive. And Kino Kunia, Books Kino Kunia, I still haven't been able to go to. Um, so I'm hoping that if I do go or when I do go, they might have some in stock of that one. But books a million i put in an order and then the next day it got canceled saying that there there's no longer any in stock so i missed out on that one i will try to find it um sometime later if i have to pay aftermarket price uh, that's fine as long as it's nothing too crazy um but i did want to get the, all the i do want to eventually get all of the the manga variants of this last volume of attack on titan because attack on titan is pretty special for me as as far as um anime and manga goes because it was the first thing that i watched that um got me into anime and i love it um it's what my wife introduced me to a couple of years back at this point it was like seven years ago and ever since then i've loved anime and so I wanted to get all of the exclusive variants of Attack on Titan Volume 34. So if you guys know anywhere I can find the other two, definitely let me know. But let's go ahead and open this one up and take a look at the ex exclusive poster in here. All right, so it's unwrapped. Where is this poster? Whoops, I don't wanna spoil anything for me or for any of you guys. So let's just look for the poster. Here it is. So how does this work? All right. So yeah, that's actually a pretty nice artwork, but yeah, this looks pretty awesome. So I'm definitely gonna try and see if I can frame this or something. I might display this uh, next to one of my Attack on Titan statues or something. So can I take this off? All right, so I had to be very careful, but I was able to take it off. Uh, so yeah, definitely need to display this somewhere. But as far as Attack on Titan goes, I am I started the series in the anime, so I'm gonna finish it in the anime and then I'm gonna go back. I do have the Colossal Edition, so I'm gonna read through this series with the Colossal Editions. Uh, the only singles I'm gonna have are the final volumes. So again, if anyone can help me find the uh, Books a Million and Kino Kunia variants, definitely let me know. But yeah, that's it for today's haul. Hope you guys enjoyed the, the haul. Uh, it was a pretty long one. This might be actually one of my longest hauls in my channel. Uh, but uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video.